Laura York and this is Juice Produce for Life. A long time ago when I first started juicing, I started playing around with old favorite recipes and I quickly learned that maybe a salad recipe that's a favorite or in this case, bruschetta can become a juice. No, I'm not gonna put a piece of toast in my juicer, but I'm gonna be close because the rest of the ingredients are here. I have two tomatoes, 20 leaves of fresh basil, two green onions that I've cut with the tops, one clove of garlic, and then we're also gonna use three stalks of celery. All right, so let's get started. With basil and any other leafy greens, that's the first thing you wanna to add to your juicer. So 20 leaves of fresh basil. I wish you could smell this. Oh, the flavor that it gives this recipe. You wanna use your flat greens first and your juicier elements toward the end, like the tomatoes and the celery. That'll pull all the good flavor right on through. And there comes the basil. Oh man, that just smells so good and fresh. Now we're gonna add the green onions. Again, two green onions. The entire onion, except for the very tips and the bottoms. One clove of fresh garlic, and again, this is optional, but garlic has so much medicinal purposes to it. I like to add garlic whenever I can. It's good for coronary artery diseases, infections. So you add that, and then let's go with our celery. As always, I advise that you cut your celery. Some folks, for some reason, think they can stuff entire celery stalks in their juicer. Well, you know how it has the strands going through it, that will clog up your juicer faster than anything else that I've come across. So I try to always give it a fighting chance by cutting them into one inch pieces. This is the Omega Vert 350. One of the things I love about this juicer is that it has very dry pulp as a result. It really squeezes every drop of juice out of all the produce. Now finally, the tomatoes. As always, the fresher the ingredients, the better your juice is gonna be. And if it's the height of the season. I've also used plum tomatoes for this recipe. Plum tomatoes have a lot of intense flavor. Really gives this juice a kick. Speaking of giving a juice a kick, I like spicy. So if you do too, this is one juice that I would certainly advise giving it a shot of Tabasco. Now, once it's combined, I like to take a fork or a spoon, give it a stir, just to combine everything thoroughly. And this is where I would give it a, a good, healthy shot of Tabasco. I don't think you can ever have enough Tabasco in your diet. This is bruschetta through a straw. I'm Laura York. This is Juice Produce for Life. Enjoy.